Hey YouTube, welcome back guys. So today I'm gonna go over a review real quick about this uh, Ziggy HD Plus. Uh, I know this is a discontinued model already. This is for the education premiere document camera. The model number is uh, 5 dash a68 dash 3 dash 08 dash 00 so it is compatible for uh, Mac Windows PC and uh, Chromebook so you will hook this uh, unit up to your uh, USB connector okay and then to your uh, MacBook or your iMac or your Windows PC and then Chromebook through this uh, USB uh, connector and after that you gotta connect your uh, computer or your notebook to your LCD projector in order to project and do uh, presentations okay uh, this this uh, document camera is not only for presentation it is also uh, has a selfie camera as you can see this is a 8 megapixel uh, camera right here and then there is a microphone so you could uh, use this as a selfie camera That's why it allows you to uh, point into these uh, directions. So let me give you guys the specification real quick. Okay, so I can raise it up. Uh, I'll adjust it later. The arms are made out of plastic. So there's instruction over here for, uh, for you to it give you like a warnings is wants you to hold you hold the base and hold on the bottom of the arm they don't want you to uh, hold on the top of the arm right here because since this uh, is made out of the plastic material so it is uh, pretty uh, fragile if you because uh, the base is it is uh, pretty heavy For uh, sturdiness, so I'm not sure why the arms they didn't make it like uh, aluminum, so it's more stronger or more sturdier. And then uh, the camera, you can rotate. Uh, that's 90 degree, 180, and then uh, 270. And here is your. Uh, exposure adjustment positive or negative and then you got the auto focus right here s is for self focusing c is for customize so you can adjust it on your camera i guess i mean on your computer and then uh, this is the focus button right here So there are a couple of the cons I didn't like about this uh, this uh, camera. It's uh, because of the hinges on the arms. It is uh, fixed, so that is a problem. Okay, and because of that, you cannot adjust any tighter because there's no screw head or screw like a flat head uh, screw so you can tighten up 
So it's over here. So then uh, when you try to adjust this, sometimes it just uh, fall down by itself because of the weight, see? It doesn't stay in one place. The top one seems uh, pretty tight because it's a uh, low weight. But if you want to see, it's pretty loose. So the document size would be uh, the max uh, shooting area would be 13.46 inch by 10.4. Four inch. So let me give you the spec real quick. This is a 8 megapixel camera, high definition uh, resolution up to uh, 3264 uh, by uh, 2448. Full autofocus uh, lens up to 30 frames per second live video capture at full HD. And then uh, USB 2.0 video class uh, interface, Mac, Windows uh, PC, and Chromebook com compatible. Shoot shooting area is uh, 13.46 inch by 10.04 inch or equivalent to 342 millimeter by 255 millimeter. So when the length time width time high when it folded is uh, 10 inch by 3.1 inch by 1.5 inch or equivalent to uh, 255 by 80 by 40 millimeter. The weight on this is uh, 1.62 uh, pound or 737 gram. USB uh, cable length is uh, 4.9 feet or 150 uh, centimeter. The color, I'm not sure why I say uh, gray, but it looks uh, black to me. The model name is uh, CDVU06IP. So let's uh, jump into the next uh, video clip. This one's supposed to come with the quick start guide and then an anti-glare shield. There's a shield for you to put over here in case you point at something uh, like a document and then it has a reflection. So there's an anti-glare shield that's supposed to come with this uh, HD plus uh, USB document camera. Okay. So I'm going to uh, show a clip of the video on how to install the software real quick and how to utilize it. So we'll be back. Hey YouTube, welcome back. So uh, this is a tutorial on how to uh, download a driver for your uh, IP EVO. So you got to type in the IPEVO HD plus uh, software and then download driver on your uh, Google search. And then you want to go down to the second one where it says uh, IPEVO.com slash support. So as you can see, <clears throat> there is a new one. Uh, this is the old one, the Ziggy HD Plus High Definition uh, USB Document uh, Camera. The new one is, uh, as you can see, this is a 4K Ultra High Definition USB uh, Document Camera. Let's go talk about that real quick, guys. So. 
So as you can see, it has a double hinges on the arm, I mean, double arm on the near the base. And then the hinges, it is, uh, has, has like a bolt, like a screw head with the flat head that you could, uh, insert like a dime just to make it tighter or loose. So that is the only upgrades. And then the, the camera resolution, everything is uh, still the same, 8 megapixel. So when you get to this page, you want to go ahead and then uh, click on the USB camera IPEVO presenter, as you can see. There are other ones for like a document camera or a wireless camera, but the one that we have is a USB. And you can just uh, click on download for free right here. Somehow I click on this one, it did not work last time. But uh, if that did not work, you could also uh, see it says a uh, Mac app uh, store preview. So you get it from the Mac, uh, the app stores. So, so if that one did not work, so I just uh, click on this one. Uh, this one's supposed to be for the latest uh, Mac OS and above so i click on this one to download it and then you can save as whatever you want to name it and i just click on save and it is downloading the zip file right here so after you download the zip file you want to go ahead and then uh, double click it to open well, hopefully it's uh, finished uh, downloading Just, uh, just click on open anyway. Oh, I forgot, uh, I gotta connect to the camera. That means I uh, switch back to that station so I can hook up the camera and then uh, test out for you guys. So here we are at the, at the camera station. I'm going to hook this up to the USB on the computer uh, right now. I'm testing on the MacBook uh, Air. So as you can see, it automatically try to, uh, I'm not sure why it's flashing, but uh, try to automatically focus the document. As you can see the LED, oh, I don't want to hold it from the, I might break it from there. The white LED is, uh, is lit up. I'm not sure if I'm the, I need to uh, change to the cell focus. I think right now it's on uh, custom focusing. Maybe that's why the screen is uh, press enter to take snapshot. No, so I'm adjusting the exposure right now. It's on negative, uh, it's on one. You hit the plus, goes up. 